Hey basketball lovers, we are back again for you, wondering the similar topic again. Clearly no, this time it's about the current players on the court. Professional athletes are monetarily rewarded for their performance in their respective sports. On many occasions, their compensation ends up being far off from what their performance actually warrants. A popular example of an overpaid player is Timofey Mozgov, who signed a four-year $64 million deal with the Los Angeles Lakers in 2016. Mozgov ended up playing 54 games for the Lakers before being traded as a salary dump to the Brooklyn Nets. He averaged just 7.4 points and 4.4 and 4.9 rebounds per game during his short stint in Los Angeles. What about the other side of the spectrum though? Which players are performing far greater than expected based on their performance this season? That's the question, the answer to which we're going to show you all. Without further ado, here are the 10 most underpaid players of the 2019-20 NBA regular season. So, let's begin. But before we proceed further, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do hit that subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any future content. Number 10. Bam Adebayo, Heat. At 22 years old, Adebayo is already one of the most versatile big men in the NBA. He's averaging around 16 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists per game, along with a steal and a block. His 2.23 DPIPM is the 17th highest in the league among players with at least 1,000 minutes played. If you bump the qualifier up to 2,000 minutes, his DPIPM is actually the second highest behind just Rudy Robert. A small sample size certainly isn't the reason for his success. With the actual salary of $3,454,080, the examiners expect it to be around $6 million, but he's paid less. Number 9. Mitchell Robinson, Knicks. Ever since being selected in the second round of the 2018 NBA draft by the New York Knicks, Robinson has quickly become one of the league's best shot blockers. The 22-year-old big man is averaging 3.6 blocks per 36 minutes over the past two seasons, and his DPIPM of 1.76 is by far the highest on the Knicks. The next closest player is Frank Entelkinas, 0.30. While Robinson isn't particularly versatile on the offensive end, he does thrive in his limited role on that side of the ball, as his 74.2% effective field goal percentage is the league's highest by a wide margin. A huge difference is being seen in this salary expectation and reality figure. Where the expected reach up to a number of $14 million, the reality stops down to $1.5 million only. Number 8. George Hill, Bucks. George Hill is both the oldest and the least paid player on this list, but he's excelling in his role for the championship favorite Milwaukee Bucks. Hill is leading the league with an uber efficient 48% 3P% on 2.9 attempts per game. His 1.810 OPIPM is the third highest on the Bucks, and the team scores 3.9 points per 100 possessions with him on the floor. Impressive feats considering he plays with offensive stars like Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton, and he hasn't even started a game this season, which would boost his on-off splits due to playing with the other starters more. The difference is seen about $13.5 million between the expected and the real one, where his original one was only $1 million. Number 7. DE Anthony Melton, Grizzlies. Melton was selected with the 46th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft and has already been traded twice since then. He spent the 2020 season with the Memphis Grizzlies and has become a surprisingly valuable asset on both sides of the ball. The team scores 5.7 more points per 100 possessions with Melton on the floor and holds their opponents to 4.8 less points per 100 possessions when Melton is playing. In total, his PIPM is the second highest on the Grizzlies, a young team that is surprisingly set to sneak into the playoffs if they maintain their spot in the eighth seed. But despite the talent he has, he has paid much less in cents with an actual salary of $1 million, an expectation up to $14.5 million. Number 6. Royce O'Neal, Jazz. Royce O'Neal is exactly what NBA teams want from their role players. Somebody who can shoot threes and play good defense. He's not heavily relied upon to score, but his 39% 3P% percent keeps defenses honest. On the other side of the ball, O'Neal's 1.78 DPIPM is the second highest on the Jazz, behind reigning defensive player of the year, Rudy Gobert. 
After going undrafted in the 2015 NBA draft, he was forced to play professionally in Europe for some time, but it seems that O'Neal has finally established his place in the NBA. We see the place doesn't have much to offer him as he's just paid 1.6 million, while he lies in the category of 14.8 million players. Hang on there viewers, the session is here to cover five more such players. Number 5. Dante DiVincenzo, Bucks. DiVincenzo won two NCAA titles with Villanova during his collegiate career, including in 2018 when he put a career-high 31 points in the championship game and was subsequently named the Final Four Most Outstanding Player. The Bucks proceeded to pick him up with the 17th overall pick, a selection that has certainly paid off thus far. In his sophomore season, DiVincenzo has continued to develop his jumper as he's now hitting outside shots at a 34.4% rate, up from 26.5% in his rookie season. Furthermore, he's proven to be one of the best young perimeter defensive players in the NBA, with an impressive DPIPM of 1.98. There's a reason he's playing 23 minutes per game on a team that could win 70 games. The salary paid to him is around 2.9 million, while the expected rate is $16.5 million. Number 4. Luka Doncic, Mavericks. Doncic's contract is worth far more money than anyone else on the list, but he's also performing far better than anyone else on this list. As the third overall selection from the 2018 NBA draft, Doncic is earning good money from his rookie contract, but he's also putting up an unprecedented 29-9-9 stat line as a 20-year-old for a potential 50-win team. He's already a legitimate superstar. His current contract is an absolute bargain. The contract amount figure is about 7.6 million, while the expected rate of contract falls under 21 million. Number 3. Pascal Siakam, Raptors. In the 2018-19 season, the NBA world was introduced to Pascal Siakam, a former late first-round pick who averaged 17 PPG en route to winning the league's Most Improved Player award. The NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors, Siakam shot 14-17 from the field for 32 points in a Game 1 win while primarily guarded by former Defensive Player of the Year Draymond Green. Siakam's final shot of the season was the clutch floater to give the Raptors a three-point lead with 26 seconds to go in their series-clinching win. The season with Kawhi Leonard on the Clippers, Siakam has proceeded to take his game to a new level as the star of the Toronto Raptors. He's averaging 23.6 points, 7.5 rebounds and 3.6 assists per game and the Raptors are on pace for a 58-win season and the two-seed in the Eastern Conference. Performance leads well, but the earning chart raises up to only 2.3 million, whereas the graph expected is up to 17.3 million. Number 2. Christian Wood, Pistons. Christian Wood went undrafted in the 2015 NBA draft and began to bounce between the G League and short, unsuccessful stints with NBA teams for the following few years. It finally seems as if Wood has solidified his place in the NBA with the Detroit Pistons after Andre Drummond was traded away to the Cavaliers and before the season was suspended due to the coronavirus pandemic. Wood averaged 22.8 points and 9.9 .9 rebounds per game while hitting 40% of his three-point attempts. A big with his versatility on the offensive end is extremely valuable in today's game and the Pistons will surely be willing to pay good money to retain him. Currently, he was at the level of just 1.6 million and expectation raise up to 16 million. Number 1. Duncan Robinson, Heat the most underpaid player of the 2019-20 NBA season. Robertson signed with the Heat as an undrafted free agent in 2018, and he has quickly blossomed into one of the best perimeter shooters in the league. He's shooting 8.4 three-point attempts per game and connecting at a blistering 44.8% clip, the fourth best in the league. He's certainly going to be getting paid well after his contract expires. The Heat contract is making him earn only 1.4 million, where the worth is 17.5 million. These players give their best portraying the amazing talent on the court, but as we see, the payment they are being paid is worth the amount. We wish that these players further make up a good career along with a heavy amount in the pocket, which they all deserve. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video, thumbs up if you've liked it, and do hit that subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any interesting videos from now on.